Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I am so excited because we are almost on the alphabet, y'all. Almost done. But it has been so much fun to revisit brands that I kind of forgot I even had. And to revisit brands that aren't even here anymore. But that are still so truly great, you know? But anyway, today we've moved on to the letter U. Now, mind you, through the alphabet, there are brands I don't own. I mean, there's no way I could own every brand, even the most popular ones. Like, I, I own a good bit. I, not so much drugstore. I, won't, I will admit to that. I don't, and it's not that it's not any good. It's that when I do purchase something, like, I want the full package. I want the formula, the color story, the packaging. I, I want it all. You know, if if I can. Now, if I can't, I can't. But if I can, I can. That's kind of where I am when I purchase makeup. Um, maybe a little bit snobbish. Maybe just a tad, you know. But you know, at the same time, I, I realize that you don't have to spend a lot on makeup. Okay, you don't. But for today, we will be going into the letter U. And I only have one brand, Urban Decay. And I'm kind of sad, to be fair. So, the palette that I chose was the Naked 3. I know. And it's kind of like one of the first palettes that I got from Naked. I'm pretty sure the Naked 3 is. Because I didn't get into the makeup game when they first came. I don't even have the Naked 1, if that tells you anything. Um, I do have the the Naked 2, the Naked 3, the Naked Smoky. I have all of those ones, but not the actual Naked. But let's get started on what's on my face. So for foundation, I'm just wearing this here, the Skin Treat by Tarte Sugar Rush in light medium. For concealer, I am wearing Natasha Denona. I just set my whole face with the Lawless in light. And actually, I didn't even set under the eyes. No. Or the teaser. I just set the perimeter. For bronzer, my favorite. I'm wearing the Armani bronzer in 100. Yep, 100. And then I pulled out this by Urban Decay. It's the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Highlight and Blush Palette. I was going to pull the Cherry Palette, but I felt like Naked 3 went better with my blouse, to be fair. So, I am wearing this blush and this highlighter on my cheeks. And I do think it goes with the shirt really well. Um, I bet very light-handed with this because I realized as I was building, it is a very pretty color. And it's almost like a sunburnt kind of color in a way. It's a very pretty color, to be fair. And I, I forget I have this and I need to pull this out more, to be fair. And then, for the lips, I am wearing Tom Ford again, the Indian Rose. Also, need to update one something from yesterday. There was something I wore yesterday, and I wasn't for sure on how it was going to wear. That wasn't. Huh. Oh, yesterday I did Surat. The Surat mascara. I didn't get raccoon eyes. If that, I don't know. I was out in the heat, but I really thought I would, but I guess I didn't. So there's that. Um, I will be wearing, I've realized when I was doing the thing for Tom Ford, I wore Cons Cos Casablanca in the lipstick. And then I wore Indian Rose in the Surat video. Um, I need to use these. So you probably be seeing a lot of Tom Ford, to be fair, and Pat McGrath. I've got to get these used because they're going to go bad. And I don't want that. Like, I'll forever keep them even when they are bad, but I'll put them away. They won't be on my shelves or anything. Um, because you can't wear them, obviously. But I don't want to not wear them because I truly think, like, Indian Rose and Casablanca are the prettiest colors when it comes to lipsticks. And I do generally like the formula, and I love the packaging. Like, I do love this packaging. Now, granted, it came with the Rose Prick collection, so it's no longer available. But, 
I love the packaging, so I'm going to wear it. Anyway, so I didn't even put a lip liner on today, and I think it looks really pretty. But we are going to be playing with the Naked 3 palette today in all of her glory. You can see, though, that to be fair, out of my collection, now this is when I first started, so I obviously didn't have the collection that I have now. But you can see that there's use out of this, okay? And the names are rubbed off on some of them even, like this one here, the name's rubbed off on. Um, this one here, it's almost gone. The rest of them aren't bad. So you can definitely see, like, the shadows that I do like. I'll be fair and honest, I didn't really go to this because it kind of scared me. Now it doesn't so much because I'm used to makeup now. And also, to be fair, let's get started first. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that first. So the first shade we're going to go into is... What is that word? Strange? I think it's strange. It's the first shade. And we're just going to put it and set the lid. There we go. And to be fair... Alright, now we're going to go into... Limit? I think it's Limit. I'll just show. We'll start with that shade. So these shades are not pigmented okay like they are but they're not they're user friendly beginner friendly even right like and even now if i was getting started out in makeup it'd still be they would it'd still be a good palette to get started to get used to and stuff to build like do you need them all no one palette what colors again i'm, I'm sticking with this one i think i don't think we need every palette from every brand I think you need one palette, and again, not from every brand, but, you know, if it speaks to you in a way that you're going to use it, not, the, not that it speaks to you and, oh, it's pretty, and you're never going to wear it, though, but it's beautiful, like, you can look at it from afar and go, gosh, that's so pretty, I do that with a lot of Pat McGrath palettes, okay, and I don't wear half of them, same with Natasha Denona. I think that Yucca palette is so pretty. I really, really do. But I know me. I know me. I'm not wearing that palette. Because I don't like green. But still, like, if it spoke to you and you like green, then that obviously that's probably the one you should get. But I don't think we need them all. I think that And let's be honest, Urban Decay has not changed their formula. Now, Tarte has. I'll give Tarte the benefit. Urban Decay has not changed the formula. And Tarte, or shoot, Too Faced has not changed their formula. But I feel like Urban Decay works as giving you a, first off, packaging. You do get a nice package. I guess it's still the tin case, right? I don't know what it's in anymore. They've gotten rid of almost all of them, so we're going to go into the shade. Is that Nooner? I think so. This one right here. And darken up the outer portion. Um, the packaging is nice. The color story, like... If this was my only palette, like, I would definitely use every color in here to create looks. This particular look right here would probably be my, um, go-to. Because I do wear a lot of pinks. So, that's why I said, like, this probably would be my palette that I would choose. But, you know, I'm, I still have the Born to Run, I guess, for, like, my fun days. If I was going to, especially back then. Again, there's so many brands now that when I do think about creating a fun look, to be fair, I think of my Glam Light palettes or possibly even my ColourPop. But everybody has their own idea of fun. Like maybe fun to somebody else is, is just a neutral palette, you know, because they wear color every day. Where I don't necessarily wear color every day. I like it. But I don't wear it every day. We're going to go into Nooner and run it under the lower lash line. 
I used the Tarte Fake Awake in the waterline. And I didn't take this look very dark because I was just doing like a everyday look type of thing. And I think that these palettes come in handy for that and quick, quickness. Because they build up nice enough, they blend out nice enough, but they don't blend away. Lasting ability. I don't know. I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've worn a naked palette. So I cannot tell you how long, if this would last me all day or not. I guess I'll have to let you know on that one too. Update. Another one. Um, but yeah. We're going to go into the shade Buzz. Which is this right here. We're going to put it all over the lid. This is kind of an all-in-one palette for me. In a way. But in a way, it's not. And again, these are metallics or satins are not like over the top it's very subtle very very subtle look it's like to make you feel put together almost you know it, it do I feel pretty yeah but I'm gonna be honest when I was playing with this I was thinking about I need a nude by Natasha I'm not gonna lie And in today's market, that becomes a problem. Because if I had to suggest this, or the I need a nude, I'm going to suggest I need a nude. But, anyway, I would have taken, I think this shade's called Dust. This one right here. The one that's got the dip. It's like a light pinky shade. I would have put that in my inner corner. And that's kind of the only shade I could use for my inner corner. But I'm actually just going to pull from my highlighter to kind of combine all of it. And I'm pulling this shade right here that I used for highlighter. And I'm just tapping that in the inner corner. And nowhere else. I'm just really just keeping it to that inner corner. Because I'm truly just kind of keeping this look very light and airy. I didn't even put mascara on the lower lash line. I know who am I. Now, will I by the end of this? I don't know. So far, I'm not minding the way it's looking. Now, for mascara, I, you could go black. But I thought brown would be more suitable for my day-to-day. -day. So, we are going to use the Bad Gal Bang in brown. How did I already lose a little thing off the bottom? Anyway, Bad Gal Bang in brown. And I'm just giving it to the top lashes. And I think it looks fine like this. I don't think I would have liked it if I used black mascara and then nothing on the bottom. But I think having that cream liner on the bottom is enough. To separate it, if, if that makes sense. And I do think this look is very pretty. It's nothing over the top or extra sparkly, shiny. It's nothing like that. But it is pretty. I feel pretty in this look. It uh, matches well. I messed up on mascara as always. Actually, I was due for that. It's been a while since I messed up on mascara, I guess. And I just think this brown really does just makes this look look a little bit softer. And that's what I was intending in a way to do today. Just have a nice soft look. And again... If I really wanted to amp it up, I do have this, um, oh, Moondust Shadows that they just launched. 
and I could easily just tap that over. Let me see what shade. If I was to do it, if I'm not going to, but if I was, I would pull out my moon dust shadows. And I think I would either you probably use Space Cowboy, maybe Wall Dipper even, because it's a pinky shade. But either this one or this one and tap it in the middle and really just you know what I mean? If I was going to really amp this look up. But I kind of like it subdued. To be fair. Like there's days where you want that oomph. And you want to be seen. And there's days you just want the. Every day you're put together. You look nice. You look elegant and classy. But effortless. You know. And that's the way I feel this look. Now looks. Of course I'm going to clean up the mascara. Hopefully I can get that done without making a mouse. A bigger mouse. But yeah, I just, and I used to really adore this palette, and that's the crazy thing. Like, I understand preferences changing, color, you know, like color story preferences, or your skin changing, so therefore, maybe like you can't wear the same foundations and concealers you used to use, but like eyeshadows, I'm just like, you either like it, or you don't. Like, there is no, like, the formula is the formula, you know? And I guess because there just wasn't that much available back then, this seemed really, really great, you know, for what it was. And then now, there's just so much out on the market, it's like, I gotta pay this price point. Why do I not just get the Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude, get more shades, right? Yes, more shades for about the same price point, to be fair. And the formula, and different formulas. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where I'm really lying with it. Because on one hand, I get it. I think it is pretty. But on this flip side of that, I would say I would prefer to use my Natasha Denona over this. What are your thoughts, though? Do you think there's a need for these some of these brands? Or do you think some of these brands are just like... It's time to go. But then they all must be making money somehow. Probably because of fools like me. Who buy and then never use it. But they don't care because they got their money. I don't know. But I can't say that because Urban Decay, I've used their palettes. Maybe not anymore. Couldn't tell you what they recently have launched as far as that but I mean well I did buy that at Christmas that's that or that moon dust so I can't say that either so I guess they do still have it some way but I will say it's a pretty look nothing miraculous nothing spectacular very easy to do though I don't know I just think at the end of the day that I would rather have my Natasha Denona though. But I do think Natasha Denona comes with a learning curve too. Like I don't think they're beginner beginner friendly. But I do think they're once you've played with some eyeshadow you'll be able to play with that. You know what I mean? Where Urban Decay is beginner friendly. It, it, it could be, if that's your first palette you purchase, you'll be able to use it and create a pretty look. But I'll let you know on how it lasts. I will say they still have their setting spray. I do like their all-nighter setting spray. So they're still bad, I guess, they got going for them. And their moon dust shadows, so. But I will let you go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Ring your bell. Hit all. That way you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday. And we are coming to an end of this alphabet. I only have you. Now I got V, W, X, Y, and Z. So I got five letters left. And one, two, three, four, five, Four brands, maybe five. To go, so I don't have that many more to go. I don't even know. Is there a W? 
Do I have a W? I know I got two for V. Viz Yarn and um, Violet Boss. We have YSL and I have Zoeva. I don't know if I got anything for W though. We'll have to look. But, or I could be missing some in that too. So don't hold me to that either because I keep getting out of the alphabet. But anyway, I will let you go. I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.